Hey everybody, Anne here. And this morning I'm sitting out on my porch having my coffee with all of you guys. And I don't know. Today I just woke up in a mood. <laughs> I don't even know why. I think it revolves around the interior of the cabin and it's not getting done like I want it to. You know, um, if you've watched a few videos back, you know that the ceiling wasn't done. It was supposed to get done and it, it wasn't. I had to undo all of it and... Um, I'm going to have to redo it. And as far as the walls, the insulation, well, um, there's not that much left to do. But here is the thing about the insulation. Every time I put up a new section of insulation, I have to move all that drywall around. And even though I've split the packs of two into one, um, it's still very heavy. It's very awkward. I hurt my back a little bit the last time I tried to do it. And so it's a huge job just putting up a few sections because I have to move everything out of the way. Not just my things that I've got in there now, but all that drywall. I have to keep relocating it away from the walls that don't have insulation. So it's a huge job. So I've got some thinking to do. And um, I have almost pretty much decided, and I know there's going to be many of you that are going to disagree with this, but I have to go with what I can do. And I know that I can't do that drywall myself. I thought I could. I've been reading the book. There's so much that goes into it. Many of you probably think that it's easy, but for me, it's not. I'm going to be 56 this year. I've got arthritis. And when it rains, and it rains a lot here, I just, I ache so, so bad. And so I've been aching a lot these past few days. But, um, so moving that drywall around is so hard for me. It really is very hard. And, um, so I have decided I'm going to see if there's a way I can get rid of that drywall. I'm almost at the point where I will gift it to somebody if they just come pick it up. I want it out. It is stacked up all over the place. It's taking up a lot of room. And I know that it's something I'm not going to be able to work with myself. There's things that I just am historically not good at. And you guys have given me wonderful advice. And so I know what it's going to take to do it, and it's I just don't have it in me. Um, I would need help. Now, I've had multiple fine gentlemen offer to come and help me do it. And as much as I'd like to say yes, I am out here by myself, living by myself. Now, I do have Mr. Lucas across the street and some other neighbors and whatnot, uh, kind of looked watching after me. Um, I don't feel comfortable having people that I don't know, you know, come and know where I live. And, you know, even though they're offering their help, I could really get into a lot of trouble, you know, some dangerous trouble if I'm not really careful with that. And that's also why I haven't just given out my, my address to everybody because I've heard horror stories of you know some things that could happen you got to be very very careful so as much as I'd like to say thank you come on you know everybody just come um, you know various unknown people I just can't open myself up to everybody that way I'd love to be able to but I can't because I have to stay safe so um, I'm going to get rid of this drywall and instead of putting drywall up on the walls I am going to use some kind of wood paneling. Now, many people have said, no, don't do it. That's the worst thing. You know, a few of you may stomp your feet and say, I'm not going to follow your channel anymore because you didn't follow my advice. You, you shouldn't put that up on your walls over the insulation. But I've also heard the school of thought from many other people that putting the the uh, wood paneling up over the walls if the insulation has been installed properly will be fine. Now the wood paneling I could work with. I'm pretty sure I could work with and um, I think I would like the look of it better. And you know what, And if it, if it messes up then it's on me. But I cannot do drywall. I just can't do it. And you know I know that they this may disappoint a lot of you, and that's why I've been kind of upset for a few days, because I know I can't do it, and I know it's probably disappointing, but 
Okay, stop. I'm going to stop this right here. I am not going to make y'all sit through me crying in my Cheerios. It is a beautiful sunny day, and I'm going to do some stuff that I enjoy doing, and I will figure out the interior of that cabin later. So I'm going to have a look around, and hopefully I've been blessed with some new sproutlings. I'm really hoping and praying. And then, you know what? I'm going to plant some stuff. Yeah, let's look and see if anything's sprouting. And look, I'm wearing one of my new t-shirts, and it fits perfect. Yes! There's nothing new going on here. No new uh, dill has sprouted. The cilantro is doing okay. Everything else is just growing very, very slowly. Um, let's look in the pepper bin and see. Oh, I don't know, you guys. This right here, I don't know. It could just be grass. Oh, I would love it if that was a green pepper. I'm going to let it go because I'm not actually positive that it's not a green pepper. So maybe, maybe I have a green pepper, hopefully. All right. Let's move over to, this is the carrot bucket. I'm not seeing anything. Nope, no carrots. Yellow banana peppers. Um, these two were here before. See that one and that one. I'm pretty sure they're banana peppers. <sighs> Wouldn't it be awful if they were just grass? I don't think so because this one's getting some secondary leaves coming up. So I think those are banana peppers. Okay, over here. These are the red, sweet red Cuban owls. I've got two. Same thing here. I don't know. There's a few wild things that when they first sprout up they look just like that but I don't know I think it is because this one's getting some secondary leaves too and they don't look like the the weed stuff that's growing out there so oh my goodness this is the jalapeno bucket check it out check it out oh please let that not be like weeds or or grass oh let that be a jalapeno please oh I hope so. Those have been taking forever to sprout. All right, this is a tomato bucket. Let's see, I am not seeing anything. <sighs> Bummer. Another tomato bucket. I'm not seeing anything. Whoa, what do we have here? Basil. That's the basil. And check it out. We got more, more basil here. Remember I planted two rows of basil and then a row of tomatoes. <gasps> I don't know you guys. Can you see that? Can you see that right there? Oh, that's either grass or a tomato. It could be grass, I don't know. Please, please let that be a tomato. It would make me so happy. Here's the lettuce and spinach beds. And I did thin them out. Um, to one plant every so often and I move some of the plants around because I've only got one, two, three, four spinach and I hope those are spinach. They better be. But since I've thinned them out, the lettuce is trying to grow more leaves so that's good. And look at this. Check this out guys. I had just thrown these little lettuce sproutlings off to the side I was going to put them in the compost pile, but it looks like a few of them are trying to sprout in this clay soil. So I don't know. I'm just going to let them do their thing. Okay. Now for my beans and cucumbers. <sighs> this bed made me cry when they all died. Let's see. Do I have any beans? I'm not seeing any beans. Are you? Wait. Wait. What's this? Oh, I'm not going to disturb the soil. I'm just going to say, no, that's not a bean. No beans. Doesn't look like I've got any beans. Let's... Oh! Look! A cucumber. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's one cucumber. Look. Wait, 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 wait. Where, where is that? Okay, it's over here. Look. Oh! There's a few cucumbers. Look, you guys. Do you see? Those are cucumbers. There's a bunch of them coming up. Okay. I think that's all. 
I think that's all the cucumbers, but I think they're starting to come up now. <gasps> look, look, what is that? Is that a bean or is that a cucumber? I don't know. I don't know. Look, I'm not sure. It looks a little different than the other beans. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it do its thing. And hopefully it's something that I want. This here, I got to find a place to plant these today. I want it to be somewhere where I can see it. So, huh, maybe in front of the house, I'm gonna have to move my ghetto lawn. Check this out. I've cut a little a little piece out of my ghetto lawn and I did it with this little knife that I found on the property. This is a good sharp little knife. I'm gonna hang on to it. So I've got that out of the way and I think I'm gonna put those bulbs down there. I need to find a shovel. Bulbs are planted. I just made a little makeshift garden bed in front of the tiny house and uh, I just used the soil from the tire, dug little holes, put a little bit of the good soil down in the bottom because it is very highly compacted soil and rock down in there and um, separated them as best as I could. Hopefully I didn't kill any of them and put them in the soil that they were in down into the hole and covered it up. Pretty easy stuff. Hopefully I did it right. I did it the way Mr. Lucas told me to. So hopefully I didn't kill any or damage them too, too much. I can tell you over on this side, this little one over here, I don't know if I got enough of the roots off of, you know, how they kind of grow together and then they separate out. I don't know if I did that run right, so that one may die. Hopefully they will all live, but I think it'll be uh, a nice little addition to the front of my tiny house to have pretty flowers. There was a whole bunch more stuff I was going to include in this video, but it was just getting way too long. I will tell you that over the last couple of days, I've received some stuff in the mail, well not in the mail, from FedEx and UPS, some very thoughtful, wonderful gifts from people. And I'm sorry I didn't film me opening them up and my initial excitement and everything, but I've been feeling kind of down the last couple of days, so I just dove right in and it cheered me right up. So I'm going to include that in the next video, let you see what I got. And um, I'm going to spend the rest of this sunshiny day down working on those beds down by the street. I'm going to plant some seeds and then I'll let you know what I did and you can point and laugh at me and tell me that I did it all wrong. But anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.